everyone. We'll go back to some more death and regress too. Last time it, we had a giant unfortunate falling out with uh, Liliana's mother. But now Liliana's happy again. She's back safe at the dorm. And so is, what's her name? Is it Abby? Abigail? Ab Ab Abby or Abigail? I might got the name wrong. But yeah, she's back. And we've got three, hopefully, small cutscenes to get through. And then we can carry on with the story. Oh, my. And Rossi's here, too. Hmm? What's up? Liana stopped us as Rossi and I were walking back to our room. Liana, in the corner of the hall, waited to say to her. I hope it's nothing serious. Oh. I saw that. There you go. What do you want? Oh, well, you see, go for it, Sarah. Sarah? Sarah peeked up from behind Liliana. G good afternoon, Mike. Hello. Good afternoon. Your old pal Roy Rossi's here, too. Oh, right. Sarah is nodding timidly and just stared at me for some reason. What? Ah! I'm scared. Huh? What's the matter, Sarah? Did I do anything to you? You've been here watching, watching, watching. All I did was ask her a question. She's crying for no reason at all. I don't get it. I didn't even do anything. Ugh. <laughs> Sarah began to shake in fear as she watched how I was reacting. Somehow I've intimidated her again. At this point, I should be the one crying. Um, Sarah, I guess, was always a bit of a baby, but she wants to get past that. I thought she was about to grow up out of it because she likes you, but she looks like she's terrified of you. You idiot, Liliana. That's meant to be a secret. I was like, oh shit! <laughs> Liliana's, uh, Sarah's, Sarah, her eyes favorite tears started to hit Liliana's shoulders. I was really surprised you liked me at all. But more than that, am I terrifying? No, you're okay. You're cute. What if we tried to lie in the situation, but I didn't find it comforting at all? Am I really that intimidating? Liliana raised her hand after I muttered that. Can I make a suggestion? Mind when you have the time, I think you should t take some time and I'll just consider how you portray yourself to the outside world. It might not hurt to try to do some different things here and there. Like smiling. Do you know how to smile, Mai? Um, how about this? <coughs> what? Sarah out a terrifying cry, sending both Liliana and Roxy into a panic. Okay, this time, why don't you tr really try and show the best smile you could possibly smile, hmm? Go on, Mai, do it. How's this? Oh, she stopped crying. I finally, bit of, finally felt a bit of relief, releasing, releasing my forced smile. Liana, too, was now smiling. She looked at me with warmth in her eyes. Well, I guess giving a crying child a terrifying smile like that would work, too. What did you expect from me? Ugh. Don't worry about it, Mai. There's no need to change your natural smile. While she tried to make me feel better, but her words echoed through the hall. It just made me feel more sad. But I tried to, when I think about it, maybe it's not very natural at all. You make a good point. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't be so down about it, okay? Could you not laugh about it? Sorry, sorry, I know. I mean, it would be one thing if Sarah was the one laughing, but oh. Hee <laughs> hee, ha ha ha. Oh. So, this is an old map and it's not too different from before, I guess. But the names seem different. Oh, I feel like I've seen this one before. I think it's the newspaper article you read earlier, the one that had the incident. That's right. While we were looking into the town's history, we heard the clanging of plates. Someone was coming near us. And when we turned around, we saw Paula running this way with a tray in her hands. My! 
Paula put her chair next to my seat. Can I sit with you? Sure. Thank you. Hi, Roddy. Hi, Liliana. There's so many things I want to talk to you about today, Mai. As soon as Paula joined us, it got very noisy. I was to focus on reading, but knowing Paula's background now, I can't ignore her. Okay, calm down. Mai's reading right now. Can you wait for her a little while? Oh, uh, okay. I thought about stopping what I was doing, but Roddy really looked out for me there, so you convinced Paula to set her down. We can talk a little later, Paula. Okay. She gave me a small nod that I encouraged her. She seemed a little sad as she began to eat her food. I couldn't help but feeling bad, but my investigation took priority. Hey, my, is that book hard to read? It looks like a really big book. Is it going to take a while? Paula started asking me small questions every couple of minutes. Considering how many things she normally asks, I'm certain she's trying her best to hold herself back. Yes, it's going to take a while. I see. Seeing the usually energetic Paula try her best to remain still, I could feel my heart waver within me. Ugh. I got pulled up on her shoulders and sat her right next to me. Why? She thought I was going to get mad. She looked up at me. I become soft. <laughs> I wanted to be really quiet and I thought you could take a nap here if you wanted to. You could rest on my shoulder. He. <laughs> Paula looked happy and snuggled up to me. Because she had just finished eating, she fell asleep right away. That was quick. That's so sweet. Your shoulders must be comfortable. Liliana's eyes look warm. Well, if you want to try them out, Liliana, you're welcome to. Oh, really? I have one shoulder open, and then Roddy jumps in three, two, one. <laughs> I knew, I knew, I motioned to my other shoulder. Liliana giggled happily. She grabbed the book, and Liliana came to my other shoulder and leaned on me. Yeah, I knew it. It's comfortable. I think about leaning on you like this from time to time, I must say. I think it's because you're a very dependable big sister. Leona giggled and I pat her head. Rossi, who was watching quietly, began to bow. <laughs> you can see the upset on her face, the anger. Ugh, no fair, Mai. You you'll let me do that to me later too, right? So looking out for Paulo that was sleeping, what he said in a hushed voice. Fine, I guess you could do it later too. Okay, okay, later, all right. My, she's a, a ton, ton, ton of it. Lossie is broken. <laughs> I was in a good mood because of Liliana. I wasn't thinking when I agreed to it. Hmm? Mary, why is she holding so many things? Roti, Liliana, I'm gonna check. Huh? What are you doing? I ran up to Mary and grabbed the biggest item she was carrying. Whoa, my! Let me help. Hey, hey, it's totally fine. I'm on my way home anyway. Yeah, you can't carry all this by yourself. I'll take this one. And I'll take this bag and whoa, it's really heavy. Rossi and Liliana came running from behind and began to take Mary's stuff. Come on girls, I said it, I was fine. What are you carrying here? Mary was blushing, she opened from the bag and let me see what's inside. It's fabric. I asked the townsmen to donate any that any they had that they didn't need. If I patch them together, I can make clothes and curtains for everyone. You sure are crafty. Yeah, that's a great idea. Hehe. <laughs> Don't you think so? So what will you make with this? I'm curious to see what you've been able to make so far. What kind of curtains have you made before? Well... Rossi and Liliana were so impressed, they asked question after question. Mary happily answered each one. Phew, we're finally here. 
Good job, everyone. Once we arrived at the entrance, we set things down for Mary. I hope we're able to make some nice closing curtains with these. Yeah, when I'm able to make some good pieces, I'll, I'll, I'll have to give you a few. It's my way of saying thanks for helping me for today. Mary smiled. Jesus, Sundre. He sure is. Mary was at least being on for herself and seemed to smile and reflex. After teasing her just a little, she turned red. God, shut up. <laughs> no, like, oh. <laughs> Aw, oh, she stormed off. She was so cute. I couldn't help but tease her. Right? It's rare to hear Liliana like, laugh like a little like yeah, it's rare to hear Liliana laugh like a little tricker. Tricker. But I felt the same way. Moments later Rossi started to fidget. Hey my I'm cute too, right? Not really. I wish you could make fun of me but like what you did with her. Nope. That's so messed up. <laughs> Whatever, my forget you. I my thought you saw enough too. She got a wish though. He, Liliana, what's Rossi stomp off? Let's go, Liliana. Okay. Time for a lengthy cutscene now. She's nowhere to be found. Yeah, I definitely should be this elusive. We checked the whole dorm until the evening, but but it was like Liliana's mother had vanished. There must be other areas you haven't checked yet. Um, how about Liliana's room? I haven't been there since this morning. Right, we haven't looked there again. In my country, there's a saying that goes, "It's darkest under the light post," meaning we tend to miss things that are just out of sight. Whoa, Ma, you're so worthy. Time to visit Liliana's room. Okay. She's not here. Sorry for getting your hopes up. We checked Liliana's room, but her mother hasn't returned yet. It's okay. It's not your fault, Ma. I apologize for dragging you into this mess. Hmm. I still feel like there's some places we haven't checked. I had a similar feeling, but I couldn't think of them on the spot. Oh hey, you guys, you still here? It's almost supper time. The head maid trotted past us, calling out with a slight head turn as she walked. Come on, make way to the cafeteria now. I bet you will famish. I'm sorry, we'll be right there. Oh say, have you seen Liana's mother? Oh, you're looking for her? Yes, I wanted to show her some things before she left, but there's nowhere to be she able to be found. Any idea where she is? We searched the dorms and everything. Hmm. Well, when I went down to town this afternoon, I think I bumped into her. What? Really? Really? I was in a big rush. So I didn't greet her, but I'm almost certain it was her. I see. Thanks for the info. Well, I must be ready for supper, so see you in the cafeteria, okay? Don't take long. Okay. Once we saw the headmaid was out of sight, we began to plot our move. And you said you saw Liliana's mother in town, right? It's been all day looking for her in the dorm. No wonder we never found her. You think she's still in town? Hmm. Confronting Liliana, comforting Liliana must, might be awkward, so my, her mother might have left the dorm instead. It's not crazy she's still in town, is it? And even if she's not in the dorm, I bet she wants to stay close to Liliana. Should we check the town? Yes! We ditched dinner and said to venture into the shaker right after dark. Oh, here we go. There's no point in me using the other te- Well, the others. When I have my rotted at a level 46. And Liliana, which is level 40, and then the rest are like 10 levels lower. So. I'll crush you. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, it's been a while, but th the story says Liliana's mother is in the town, okay? Does this 
Look at the town to you. <laughs> it does not. So, yes. Oh, shit. Hello. Jesus Christ. My mind came out of nowhere. My, my, my man she just saw me out of nowhere just started trudging towards me <laughs> here. still can't find her yeah we have no choice but to run around aimlessly if only there was some kind of hint Oh, flashback. Ugh. Oh, not this again. Drink. Drink more. Oh, I can't remember what voice I did for Abigail. It's been too long. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Drink or you'll die. No. Why? Why? What? Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look stuck. You scared me. Uh, Ronnie, what was that I saw? Huh? What do you mean? Did something happen? I witnessed Abigail being killed. But she should be back at the dorms. Why did that come to mind? Even if it's a hallucination, it made no sense. Sorry, I think I'm just lightheaded. It's nothing really. Abigail's still alive. It's just a bad omen. I'm not gonna bother mentioning what I saw. Yeah, I hope it's not Amina. My, if you're feeling ill, it's best not to overdo it. Seriously, I'm fine. I don't have Amina. I'm perfectly fine. Well, for now, let's focus on finding Leyana's mother. If it gets too dark, we'll never find her. Oh, that's right. We need to find her fast. Sorry. Thank you. Well, this area is mad. Because shit just comes out of the fucking woodworks. But... This is like the worst possible one. This is the minefield one. Can I even reach for this? I can. But I need one I can reach with, but I'm not sure what. Oh, hang on. It says what shape it goes in. I think I can barely get that one out. That's what I have to do. There we go, it should be dead now. I might just send them around and around. <laughs> Is he around this corner? My Liliana, there's someone there. Oh, this thing's becoming interrupt me. I gotta touch it. Oh, it's Liliana's mother. We found Leona's mother standing by us, standing by herself. She hadn't seen to notice us. Oh, I'm so happy we found her. Sure. Oh, Liliana. What do you want to do, Liliana? If you're scared, want me to talk to her first? No. I should be the one. I'll handle this myself. Go on, Liliana. Okay, you got this. Got it. Don't worry, though. We'll stand right here, watching. Okay. Leona mustered up the car to approach her mother. Mommy? Oh, this is how he says mommy. Bless her. Yes. Um, I... I love 
love you. <sighs> Hate me all you want, but no one else can replace you as my mommy. So... Liliana, you're so... Liliana's mother's shoulder started to shake. She slowly approached Liliana. Tears through her eyes. I thought so, I thought I was suspicious. You really are so courageous. Mommy. Oh. But how annoying can you be? Oh for fuck's sake, man. Come on. Criminal scum. Rotten like stepped between Liana and her mother to protect Liana. Like Roy, give her a round that was kicked, knock her out. How can you say that about your own daughter? Liana's mum seems to be completely broken. Despite the circumstances. Perhaps it was for the best for us to part with Lee on this movie. But it's difficult to say. I'm not wrong! 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 I mean, can't you see? I'm trying! It's all their damn fault! Making me do this bitch's work! Damn it! Damn it! Foam guzzles out of her roaring mouth. Why would you say that? You'll blame me too, won't you? You think I'm a failure of a mother? Then I don't think about my kid! What? I never said that! I hate everyone for blaming me! The youngest mother screamed before transforming into a vicious monster. Oh, damn. Is that a shadow matter? Wait! So they do start. Oh no. Let's go, Roddy. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill this now, aren't we? You got it. See, the thing is, I would love to bring in the others from from Death and One, but th these three are already overpowered, so th that's just making it harder on myself. <laughs> That's pleasant to look at, isn't it? Oh, okay, that was an instant transformation. That works. Right, so Roy, give her the old smack. I mean, I could see progress on the health bar, but unlike the other bosses, we didn't instantly get it. Oh, that's all right. Well, Roy just does half his health. <laughs> Let's go, Roy. <laughs> Go, Ma, you got this. <laughs> right now, all we need now is for the young to give it a smack and it might be dead. <laughs> I'm gonna just give it a couple of smacks and we should be fine. Yeah. 
I think he's dead, you know. Die, die, peace, thank Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, you didn't. Of course, you, you heal yourself. You heal yourself. Oh, Roy Owen heals Liana. Brilliant. <laughs> What's the best you gonna heal herself again? No way, she did not heal herself again. Ready, ready for it now? Ready, 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 here it comes. Oh, she did it! Oh, you goofed, you goofed. <laughs> You've got to be dying soon, surely. Yeah! No way she survives. There's many ults. Right, um, my should be killing her. To her fitting end, this ult is the one that kills it. <laughs> oh, now, now she's breaking down now. She's going psycho. <laughs> Liana gripped her nail bat and slowly approached her mother who fell to her knees. Look at her eyes, though. Liana lifted her bat and swung down. <laughs> Liliana's brother screams made my toes curl. Liliana must kill the devil. Stop. Liliana, save me. Oh, he's just laying into her. She swung and swung and swung. I, I killed the devil. Liliana. I killed the devil for possessing my mother. But I saved her. So I did the right thing, right? Liliana, stop. You did. You can let go now. Oh, she's crying. This is just deep. It was the first time we saw Liliana break down. I mean, she's been bottling that inside her for so long, she was bound to snap and lose her eventually. Normally, the pain stayed in, hidden somewhere inside of her for so long, but the pain of losing her mother at least all at once. Liliana! Damn it. Seriously, why do horrible things keep happening? 
I caught myself realizing that her pain just justified her anger. So many of our classmates met cruel fates for nothing, disappearances, deaths, innocent, destroyed. If these incidents were to continue, Liliana could be in great danger. I have no choice but to leave the shit town. I had to escape the dorm with Liana. I pledged to do so with him. After committing to the vow in my heart, I held Liliana until to stop crying. That is all of my report. Oh, is that so? The woman died, did she? Complicated thing, a mother's love. <laughs> I sympathize. I swear she's behind all this, I swear. Is he choking her? I aligned all the pieces just for them to be ruined. It irritates me that we were so close, yet so far. Y yes Most definitely. I tire of your face. Playing with old toys bores me. I crave excitement. I guess it's time to break in the new maid. Call for Nino Mia tomorrow. Yes. Wish. Ah. Oh, she tortures her maids. Of course she does. <laughs> Leave town? Yes, I can't wait any longer. If we stay here, Liliana will suffer even more. Having arrived at Sheena's, I divulged into what I decided the night before. I thought if I could protect Liliana for stay close, but with her mother with her mother ending up how she did, I learned. If we stay in this forsaken dorm, I can't protect the people I care about. I'm having trouble, having a troubling realization. I saw it yesterday with my own eyes. The curse of the chakra is real. If you fall into despair, if you despair, fall into a panic, or succumb to any mental illness, that's a trigger. Then you become a shadow matter. How can this be? Then all the shadow matter in the town are. I'm not sure. But it's dangerous here. We can't stay a second longer. Sheena, apart from you, I can't trust any of the other adults here. You're right. I've been thinking to myself that I'm ready to leave this place behind. I'll help you. We'll go together. When she worked to the maid, Sheena spoke to me warmly. But when, she, but when it was just the two of us, she could be frank and decisive. None of the other maids were like this. Sheena's transparency. I meant I could trust her. If that's the case, then sooner or sooner would be better. My, do you have a plan? No, but I don't have much to pack. I could take what I can and leave tomorrow. Understood. I don't have much luggage either. Tomorrow works for me. Beforehand, there's someone I want to investigate tonight. There is. Yes, apparently there's a section of town where there's signal. There's someone I need to contact. Signal? Contact? I don't really understand it, but we're leaving tomorrow. Does it really need to happen tonight? There's no telling what will become of me or when I need to make contact. R R RCC must be done in secrecy. RCC? What's that? It's abbreviated the central report, contact and consult. RCC must be done in secrecy. The stuff that I picked up at Enigma. I see. So where do you need to go? I'm on the shopping district as well. It's the only lead I have. Understood. Let's check it out tonight. This town gets weirder by the day. Every day is something new. I have to make sure my new others make it out safely. Before that, I need to contact someone on the outside. Sumika might be able to help me. Once I leave this place, I should rejoin the company back in Japan. Oh yes? Headmate, did you need something? Miss Noyama, the headmistress is calling for you. Please see her in her chambers at once. Oh, then, then she's going to get the torture now. The headmistress? Sure thing. Follow me. I wanted to get packing, but I can't squeeze out of this one. Guess I'll go. Still, I wonder what the headmistress wants to talk about. 
Oh well, I have some time off while I'm at it. Liana, sorry for calling you here. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I apologize for my composer yesterday. I'm fine now. Except I began to doubt whether or not I could become an exorcist. I can't seem to relinquish my weapon. How can someone who murdered their own mother exercise demons? Perhaps I'd be li better off living by myself, somewhere hidden away. Lena, what does your heart tell you? I don't want to give up. I pat Leona's head with gentle strokes and offer some clumsy words of encouragement. Liana, in some moments of crisis, move forward, keep going, follow your heart. My, I... Thank you, I won't give in. Even after the traumatic experience, Liliana acted so strong. I should try acting normal, but... Oh, Rotty flashback, Jesus. Rossi, why have you come to visit me at this hour? I'm sorry, Mother. I just wanted to talk with you alone. I thought it'd be better to do with it without anyone else around. So I found my mother the moment the headmaid wasn't working. Hmm, how unusual. Are you needing some affection? Rossi, remember, you must conduct yourself as, as a model student at, at all times. As daughter of the headmistress, I have to be the top student. It was burned into my brain. I don't know any other way. But I came to, to speak with her as a daughter with a mother. No flesh and blood, not for affection. Mother, there are several incidents happening around town and dorm. You must know how strange it is. I find it abnormal. I concur. What could possibly be happening? Do you know what do you know what a bishop think it is? Come here, Rosie. Mother? Everything is fine. There's nothing to worry about. How long has it been since I sat on her lap? Then she patted my head. The warmth, the warmth of her gentle touch. Mother, forgive me for not spending as much time as your, as your mother, Lottie. It must have made you so anxious. But Lottie, you needn't worry about such affairs. I'm always on your side. Our relationship with headmistress and students suit superseded our relationship as mother and daughter, so I didn't take this gesture of kindness lightly. Yes. Of course, you're on my side too, right? Yes. She was kind, but her question seemed loaded, as if she would refuse any of her answer. I responded instinctively. Mother's face inched closest to mine, as if it was peering into it. Her face was unusually close. Hmm? It was so sudden I couldn't compare to I couldn't comprehend as it was happening. Mother's lips were pressing mine. That's all I could process. I couldn't breathe. Her lips blocked my mouth. I struggled to inhale. My vision became white and hazy. Uh, oh Rossi, my adorable daughter. Mother grabbed my jaw and forced eye contact. Even I could tell I was blushing from embarrassment. I believe in you, my darling daughter. I escaped from the room as if in flight. I sprinted to my room without turning back. Had I stayed there any longer, I would have been forever humiliated. I couldn't bear the thought. Wait, what, have I, what exactly had I gone in there to discuss with her? Wait, so her mum can just, like, kiss you and, like, make you forget things? Liliana, are you tired? You can rest here, you know. Oh, I couldn't. I shouldn't inconvenience you, to, you two like that. It was my suggestion. Don't worry about it, Liliana. My... Hey, Ronnie, with everything going on, I think it's Liliana rest up in this room today. That's right. I was trying to bring up the weird stuff was going on. So why did she react like that? Tomorrow with Liliana. Mother, what happened to you? Hey, Ronnie. Hmm? Oh, I'm fine. My super full of energy. 
I see. I understand that you won't listen to our conversation. Oh, I'm sorry, Mai. What were you talking about? I'm planning to leave town with Liliana tomorrow. This place is too dangerous for her. Ma Mai? Leave town? That's right. There's something wrong with the chakra. World's worth included. None of the adults seem to care. The longer we stay here, the more Liliana's in danger. Myself too. That's why we're leaving. So, Roddy, I'm sorry. Mai? Would it be okay if I went too? This isn't a game. Besides, you join us, you'll never be able to ever get to come back. In other words, you'll be separated from your headmistress, your mother. Even so, do you want that? Yes, count me in. You see, I've been thinking for a while now about the town, about what happened to the students, about the maids and mother. About you and Liliana too, my. I don't want it. I don't want to stay behind. I want to be with both of you. Are you serious? Are you sure you know you can't come back? Yeah, I'm serious. I see. I, see. I understand then. Hi, Roddy. You're risking your life for me. I apologize. For the hundredth time, it's fine. Stop worrying about it. That's right. If all three of us stay together, there's nothing to be scared of. Then it's decided. Okay, you two. For now, let's act no more around the dorm until evening. No one else can know. Understood? Rossi Liliana nodded quietly. Gaze is solemn in the infirmary. Right. So, good God. It's been a while since I've seen this screen. And we have many, many cutscenes to get through. So, this was another chapter of Death and Regress. Finally got through. So leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so that it take care, stay safe, and come back next time for another death end.